If you're like me, you've always wanted some sort of ancient item for yourself. For me, I've never been able to afford it. I can't go out and buy some bow and arrow from the Middle Ages. So what's the solution? Well, boy, have I got one for you. My solution is make it all out of cardboard. Wow, the videos just keep getting more stupid. The first thing we are making is a bow. How are we gonna make a bow out of cardboard and duct tape, you ask? Here's the plan. I'm gonna cut three or four pieces of cardboard, line them up, duct tape them together. That's our curvy part. I don't know what it's called. And then the duct tape is gonna be the thing that comes back and releases the bow. I don't know how well duct tape is gonna work for that part of the bow, but we're gonna find out. This might fail absolutely miserably, and yeah, it probably will, but we're still gonna try. Cool, now that we're here to the duct tape and cardboard workstation, I'm gonna make this and then I'll explain to you what's happening after it's cut. This is our bow, right? Duct tape right here. We just need multiple pieces to be layered up so that this doesn't fall apart when I pull back on it. This is my last roll of duct tape. I know, we can be sad for a moment. Okay, sadness over. Does that mean duct tape is gone from this channel forever? It probably should be, but it won't, don't worry. <laughs> so let's get another piece. There we go. Now we have two pieces of cardboard. This right here is the cardboard workbench. If you're following along at home, this is when you need your duct tape. Okay, please don't follow along at home. <laughs> at first I thought duct tape might have some stretch to it so it could shoot an arrow. Now I'm wondering if that statement's really true or not. Um, I don't feel like it is. So make this nice and tight to the bow. All right, this is not gonna work. There's no way, <laughs> there's no way this is working. What was I thinking? This is not going to work at all. Oh, it's so sticky. I mean, I don't know why I'm surprised. It's literally duct tape. I infinitely have lost my faith in this. <laughs> this is supposed to be what draws back. Well, you know what? We'll just we'll just make an arrow and try and shoot it, right? There's our arrow. Here's our bow. The official test for the bow. Is it going to be a success? Here we go. Bow and arrow test. Three, two, one. Wait, hold up. That actually kind of shot. Hold on a second. Did that actually just work? <laughs> okay, wait. I'm gonna go here. We're gonna see how far it gets. Did I, did I just make a bow and arrow out of cardboard and duct tape? I mean, look, okay. I know it's not really a well-working bow and arrow, but what's the definition of a bow and arrow? Hang on. The definition of the word bow and arrow is a weapon consisting of arrows and the bow to shoot them. Hang on, hang on. Okay, I'm getting up there. It's serious time. We're going by technicalities here. This might actually be a bow and arrow. Did it shoot them? That is the question. The definition of shoot, move or cause to move suddenly in a particular direction. When I let go of this, what happens? It suddenly moves in that direction. Okay. Our next weapon, a cannon, but specifically a hand cannon. A hand cannon was a weapon used by pirates and carried in their hands and literally just shot. It's a carryable hand cannon. For this one, I am going to use a rubber band and a toilet paper roll. Here's the plan. I think if I can get this to stay secured right here, right, just like that, and I put a cannonball in here, pull back, and what happens? It should shoot the cannon. <laughs> If I have it like this and then tape it down with duct tape, like so, right? It does kind of get compacted when you're, nothing's in it and you're not really holding it, but I think that's okay. Now that I have that tape down, I'm not holding it. As you can see, the rubber band is there on its own. So now I think what. It just came off. More duct tape. That's on there, right? Pull it back, let it go. All I'm saying is that might work. Like the bow and arrow, just has to work once or twice and we got it. So, let's make our cannonball now. 
cannonball in the cannon. As you can see, right there, locked and loaded. Here's the test. Oh, the tape just came undone again. This thing keeps falling out. Okay, before you say, yeah, I know my hair just got wet and it looks like I just put stuff in it. It's because I did because it was falling my eyes too much <laughs> and I need a haircut. All right, this is an official test. As you can see, it's on there on its own. Cannonball in the thing. Pull it back. Here we go. Three, two, we may need a smaller cannonball, folks. I didn't think the cannonball would be the thing that I had to make twice, but it is. Here we go. Three, two. Why? Stay in the duct tape, dude. Okay. Pull back. Oh, that was so close, dude. It must be so close to working. Cannonball in. Pull it back through the hole. Pull back the elastic with the ball. Wait, did that, did that shoot? I don't, I don't know if it shot, I don't know if it shot. I'm gonna replay the footage and figure out if that shot real quick, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, looking back on the footage, it did not shoot. I'm gonna make a smaller cannonball and I swear I will get this thing to fire. This is the cannonball we started with, this is the cannonball we have now. <laughs> okay, cannonball going in, pulling back, here we go. No way! <laughs> it shot, dude! That shot well, dude! Yes! Okay, ready? Firing test. I'm gonna fire at the lava lamp. Ready? No way, dude. Did I actually just make a cannon? Nuh uh. Here we go. Firing in three, two, one. Yes! <laughs> no way! No way, dude! This is the best creation I've made on this whole channel. Nunchucks. Pretty simple weapon. You've probably seen them before. They have a chain, two little hard pieces that you can whip around and do fancy stuff with that I've never learned how to do. Make the hard pieces obviously out of cardboard. The chain will be out of duct tape. Ow, dude. Why did I? Ow. Why would I do that? Okay. One minor concussion later. So I think we're going to do a similar thing with the bow. Tape a bunch of pieces together to make one big piece, right? If you haven't caught on by now, for all of these making stuff out of cardboard videos, I have so far used only a cardboard box for my workbench. <laughs> Let me come up there and show you what we're working with. Obviously I need two, because we got to tape them, but so far, that's pretty good nunchuck size, I'd say. I mean, not super heavy, but it's all right, you know? I think the first thing we need is we're just gonna take a huge piece of duct tape, right? And then, Make a second piece, then you have two pieces that are stuck together that are no longer sticky. This is the stupidest thing I think I've ever built in my life, wow. So now I've got one nunchuck. I can swing it like a whip, you know? hi -ya! All right, squish this middle part. I don't know about you, that looks like some nunchucks to me. Good ones? Maybe not, but I mean, I can do the old, oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa! All right, I did not know I could do that. So I've never really had to test a product that I couldn't really use all too well. Hey, Carter, I need you for a video for two seconds. You fell into my little trap. Okay, he's gonna use them on me. I used them on him. You're not a professional with these, I can tell. No brothers were hurt in the making of this video. Copa, do not come after me. <laughs> All right, this right here is my friend, Billy. So, Billy is gonna be our test subject. I know Billy's a square, it's okay. He's got a disease called squared epotamus. I mean, these are definitely nunchucks, dude. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. Oh, A, A, O, O, tricks, nunchuck tricks. All right, if these truly work, I can knock out Billy. It's gonna be okay. Billy, Billy, you're fine. Billy, Billy, you're okay. Billy, he's a piece of paper. Billy's not real, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed whatever video this was. I'm not gonna lie to you, might be the weirdest one yet. I think I say that in every video now, 
but it might be the weirdest one to date. If you guys want to see a part two of me making ancient weapons, let me know in the comments down below. And if we get this video to 100, we're gonna keep upping it, okay? We're gonna keep upping it. If we get this video to 130 likes, I think you guys can do it. I will do a part two. If you haven't seen it in the background, hashtag get us to 1,000. That's a nice close-up shot. Hey guys. Hashtag get us to 1,000 by the end of the year. We are almost there, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys. See ya.